Oh, okay. Long time no see. Good morning, Valeria. God bless you. Praise him. Amen. I pray all has been well. Good morning, Brett. All right. Apostle Bill here. Quick scope before I run in for a meeting. Amen. Yeah, I'm back. Kind of in the groove. Hey, Ramona. God bless you. Okay, Queen, on the line, I missed somebody. Good morning, Queen. Okay, Father, I thank you and praise you for this word. Lord, I pray that your people will be encouraged. Lord, I thank you for wisdom. Lord, we thank you that we are overcomers. We thank you today that we are blessed. We are in covenant with you, oh God. Blessed going out, blessed coming in. We thank you for favor that overtake your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Quick scope. Just got a couple of minutes. Um, this morning, God is so awesome. Um, I'll tell you a quick story. Um, one of the things I do for business is rent out apartments. And I have a building. And in the building, uh, I have a lady that's complaining about bugs in her cupboard. Now, in this building, I've renovated it. It's nice. Not a slumlord. Nobody has bugs but her. When she moved in, she didn't have bugs. And so yesterday, I went to see and see what's going on. What's your problem? Why are you having all of these problems uh, with bugs? So I opened up the cupboard, and she's got all of this stuff in the cupboard <laughs> that's like rice and grain and meals and sugary stuff that you didn't wipe the bottles off of. And you're worried about all of these bugs and they're all right here in the cabinet. And so this morning in my meditation time, the Lord began uh, to just put it on my heart. A lot of times people have stuff that pester them, that get on their nerves and they have bugs in their life. You know, your bug can be somebody that's getting on your nerve at work. Uh, your bug can be a neighbor. Uh, but the Holy Spirit uh, began to speak to me and say, all you got to do is clean up and remove what's attracting them. You know, clean up, change the environment, uh, change uh, your attitude, um, change, you know, your confessions. Uh, you can uh, pray worship music. You can enter into... Uh, area of prayer. So ironically, uh, while I was there, I talked to her kids, which are all teenagers, and I told them, hey, look, you guys need to get some Tupperware or some plastic bins, and you need to take all of this stuff out the cabinet and put it in bins. I can't spray, I can't treat uh, bugs around food sources that are open and dripping and leaking. Uh, the boy that had to be around 16 told me he's sitting on the couch playing a video game said that I don't think I'll be able to get around to it today, I guess because he was so busy. And so um, what was funny about this thing, I texted the lady back and told her, when you get the books cleaned up, when you get your cabinets cleaned out, call me and um, I'll come and treat it so you won't have that problem anymore. Uh, I'm still waiting for a text. I'm still waiting for a text. But oftentimes, the irony here is that we'll have unpleasant situations going on in our life. And according to Hebrews 12 and 1, it talks about uh, laying aside every sin and every weight that holds us back, that besets us. And so my question is, uh, all of us, me included, uh, if you want change, sometimes you gotta get rid of some stuff. Uh, sometimes you gotta get rid of some clutter. Uh, sometimes you gotta get rid of some people uh, you're listening to that are holding you back. Uh, sometimes you gotta clean up and uh, detoxify your environment. Uh, Sometimes you got to get a away from people that are speaking death instead of, instead of life. Uh, Sometimes you got to get around faith people uh, that uh, speak faith to encourage you. 
a lot of times we have uh, pickpockets in our lives and we have bugs that are uh, invading our space and making us uncomfortable because we are holding on to people uh, that are using us for a crutch and that are refusing uh, to grow up. Uh, sometimes we are around people that are just takers. Uh, they take, 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 they never give, they never replenish you. You're the, always the one that have to do all the giving and all the sacrificing and all of the work. And what does it do? It wear, wears you out. It makes you uh, tired spiritually, uh, uh, mentally, and physically. And so um, I'm asking myself, what is it today in my life that is getting on my nerves and I'm going to figure out a way uh, to compartmentalize it, to put it away, to get rid of some stuff once and for all. I try to get rid of, I thought I'll share this wisdom key with you too. Every day I try to deal with one problem and one situation that I don't have to deal with no more that has been getting on my nerves. I try to, so each day I get up, I wanna be a little better off than I was the day before. And I always try to fix something, get rid of something, um, you know, deal with a situation to lighten the load. And so uh, one of my uh, covenant prayers is, Lord, I thank you for reducing uh, my debt as my network net worth increase. Glory to God. Because we serve a covenant God. But a lot of times we are holding on to stuff that's getting on our nerves, that's weighing us down, that's hindering our progress, uh, holding on to people, places, and things that we should have been, we should have gotten rid of a long time ago. Uh, I really do not believe that it takes forever for you to figure out whether you need to keep a person, place, a thing in your life. Uh, really, to be honest with you, uh, after two or three weeks, a month, you really know. But what happens is we hold on to stuff that the Holy Spirit is checking us about. That he's, you know, the Holy Spirit, you get a check in your spirit. You get an uneasiness. Uh, you don't have peace about something, but you hold on to it so long that you become numb and you can't not discern that, that this thing, this person, this place or whatever don't need to be in your life. You know, I have a lot of people you won't communicate here instead of communicating to me. If I have a lot who won't communicate yet. Okay, praise God. You know, and so uh, if I'm hearing right, uh, that's another thing too. Um, you know, a lot of times um, that I don't fight. Um, you know, I know some people love God, spirit filled, uh, on fire for God. Uh, we're looking at communications, but it's such a chore to get the f a few things done because, um, you know, they are so busy. I don't really have time to work with people like that. I'm busy. I do multiple things all the time. Uh, you know, I'm always growing a new business. I do, you know, uh, at least uh, three businesses, one I'm building all the time. And so sometimes, yeah, if you don't have uh, communications, you, you're out the window. And that can be something uh, that is bugging you. It's something you got to get rid of. I know a lot of gifted, talented people that are talented, but they are poor communicators. And because of that, it, it hinders progress. And I would love to work with them, but if I can't pick the phone up and call you or text you and you get back, that's something that's bugging me that I need to get rid of. So I just wanted to just share that quick thought today. Uh, if you are attracting uh, something that you don't like, that you find that is unpleasant, that is pestering you, we have to ask ourselves, what is it about me, in me, and that is around me that is attracting this thing? And what do I need to get rid of? What do I need to clean up? What do I need to put in some plastic wear uh, so I won't attract things I don't wanna attract in my life? So that's my thought. What's holding you back from your promised land, your destiny, and your purpose. All right, praise the Lord. Just a quick thought. God bless you. Uh, share this. Uh, let me share this too. Uh, if you're in the Orlando area, 
in Florida next week, starting next Thursday. I'll be in Orlando. We are doing a three-day uh, mentoring conference, uh, mentoring you uh, in the, as it comes to business, ministry, money management, your life plan. So come on down. Uh, have some. Uh, I'm going to be there teaching. Uh, my son Emmanuel, uh, that's um, a student at FAU uh, Medical College, is going to be there, and Derry Harris a young man that's about 27 years old that owns his own um, car lot. So it's going to be awesome. And um, matter of fact, if you desire to go, uh, go to LibertyTempleZion at gmail.com. Email me or LibertyTempleZion.com. Uh, you can contact me in the press section. Let's make it happen and have some fellowship. So anyway, you all be blessed. Uh, take an inventory of your life. Figure what's getting on your nerves. And you got to ask yourself, what about me that's attracting you? If you're not attract, attracting what you want, then you got to figure out what you need to change to attract what you want. So uh, God bless you. And by faith, uh, I'll see you later on this week. Bye-bye.